hello everyone welcome back for another video so in today's video i'm doing this unboxing of this burano glow in the dark kit i'm so excited i've been wanting this kit for the longest time and i finally got it yes so here is just the instructions um, they go in depth actually like how to do the dual forms the tips how to take the nails off all that fun stuff um, and then here it comes with these butterflies these actually glow in the dark as well super pretty and then here it comes with this dampen dish y'all this three in one base coat is amazing i love it i have two other bottles um and then it comes with the top coat as well it comes with slip solution here are the dual forms comes to 12 different sizes um these fit my nails pretty well so i actually might try to do a set using these And then here are the nail tips that come with the um, kit as well. I believe these are 12, 12 sizes or 10 sizes. Okay, 10 sizes. Uh, I'm not a big fan of tips either, but I do want to get to try them at least because I want to learn how to build up the nail using the poly gel or acrylic or whatever I use. Um, and then here's the brush that comes with the kit. It comes with the brush and the spatula. And then here is the file. And now I'm going to swatch all the colors for you. And now this is a white color. This is number one. And then number two is like this pinky pink color. Uh, number three is a beautiful blue color. Four is a green. Five is yellow. Uh, this beautiful, this beautiful orange color is number six. Number seven is a pink. And last but not least, number eight is a purple. So pretty, you guys. Uh, the thing I really like about this kit, and here I um, cured it real quick so I could show you what they look like glow in the dark. The thing I like about this kit from the other kits um, is that they're not all green or yellow or whatever. They're like different. They're like the color that they are. Here are the colors that I decided to use. It's that white, um, that light pink, the blue, and the purple. And I'm going to use my McCart Stiletto Full Cover Tips. I'm just going to size them out. Here I go in with my primer. I do that to all the nails and I let them dry before adding my base coat. Now I'm going to use the base coat because I'm going to add those uh, glow in the dark butterfly pieces on the inside. So I attempted to use my brush first and it didn't work, you'll see. So I'm going to go in, this is the consistency, it's very thick, I love this base coat. Uh, the base coat is a 3-in-1, it's a base coat, a nail glue, and a slip solution. Um, and it's a 15ml bottle, that's a big bottle. Um, but to put the butterflies in, I just dip my brush, I put the base coat on the, um, the nail. And then I uh, dip my brush in the base coat to pick up the butterfly and it didn't work. No. So I grabbed these tweezers. These were the first ones I seen. I mean, it worked, but the butterflies were like all stuck together. So I didn't realize that on the first nail, but towards the end I did. So I actually found my pointier tweezers and... Um, I just like hit the the but not hit but like tried to pull them apart um, I, I figured that out at the end so for 
you know, the next nail and on, you know, I, you see, I kind of like hit it a little and it kind of like came apart. Um, so the, the, after the pinky nail, they went on much better. And then using these tweezers was a lot easier too. But if you, I did notice on some of them, if you, if I hit them kind of hard, like poked it kind of hard with the tweezers, it did take some of that, whatever, that film that's over them. Um, so yeah, so just be careful if you use these, if you get these and you use them. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish adding the butterfly to the rest of the nails. Mm -hmm. So after I have all the butterflies in the nails, I cure them all together. Just a quick flash cure just so they don't move when I add my poly gel. And I'm so sorry. I apologize. I did forget to record, hit record when I did the first two nails. So my, um, I'm very sorry about that. But this is the middle nail. I went in with that pink color. <laughs> or purple, I'm sorry. That purple color. And I'm going to be filling this whole nail with that color. And I'm not curing these until I finish. So I just make sure I get from sidewall to sidewall and thin it out at the cuticle and then I'm going to move on to the next nail. Now this is the index. I'm going to be doing that, um, like the different colors and swirling them around. Um, I saw Nails by Key do this. Um, this is, I got this idea from her. So I'm just going to put a small amount of poly gel around the nail different colors and then I'm going to uh, mold it in the inside of the nail I'm gonna press it down first and then I go in with the tweezers and like make it so like the lines aren't so defined like you know swirl it around or whatever um, I, I think that helped make it not so like color blocked I mean, it also helped that the colors were more pastel, so uh, you couldn't see like the line so defined. Um, but I, I like how this set turned out anyway. So, see here, I'm just I just dip my um, tweezers in the alcohol and I kind of like swirl around the poly gel, and then I go back in and smooth it all out. And then moving on to the thumbnail, I meant to use that white color on the pink, on the pinky and the thumb, and I ended up going with this pinky color. This, I'm sorry, this pink color. Um, so the whole, the white color, the white, the pinky now doesn't even match the rest of the design, but it's okay because it still glows in the dark and it's cool. But yeah, I meant to do that, and I completely forgot about it by the time I got to the thumbnail. So these are the nails after I finished applying the poly gel, um, so now I'm going to adhere them to my natural nail. So I just put them on my natural nail, press down a little bit, uh, make sure I wipe away any of that spillage. And then I just do a, a quick cure just to um, keep them on so they don't fall off the nail, like 15 seconds. Um, and then I do that to all the nails. So this is how the nails are looking so far. Oh, they're so freaking cute. So I went in with the file that came in the kit and I noticed one thing, you know, first off that it wasn't very like, it wasn't like doing what it was supposed to. It wasn't very hard, I, I guess is the only way that comes to mind. Um, and then I noticed that it was leaving like black residue on my nail. So I cleaned it off and I went in with my, um, my cart hand file. And, you know, obviously it works much better, but you're just going to want to uh, 
crisping up the sides, file away any of that polar gel that you got on the nail, um, and then clean up that cuticle as best you can with the hand file. And then I go in and I buff the nails as well. And for all those who stayed and watched this far, I will be doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers. Um, so watch out for that, guys. So after that I dust off the nails with my brush and this is what the nails are looking like. So I'm going to go in with the top coat that came in the kit. This top coat is amazing. It was super shiny. It went on super easy. Um, I, I loved it. Um, you're going to want to make sure you wipe away any if you get on your skin. And I, yes, look, I had to uh, put my nail up to the camera so you guys could see the close up. These freaking poly gels are awesome. I'm so glad I finally got this kit. Um, I've actually I've been wanting it for so long, and I finally got it. I'm so freaking excited. So I'm gonna add my top coat, and then I'm gonna cure my nails for um, a full 60 seconds. Um, I did forget to mention after I put all the nails on, I do do a few a full cure 60 seconds on top, and then underneath the nail. So here I'm going to go in with my E-Nail Couture uh, cuticle oil. And here is the set. You guys tell me what you think. Comment down below. Would you rock this set? Um, then my room wasn't dark enough. So. so this is what the nails look like when they're in the dark. So freaking cute. I'm so excited to do more nail on uh, more nail sets with this. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Bye guys.